Hey, what is up everybody? Let's talk about the 10 financial books that completely changed my financial life and my financial journey. You see, for the longest time growing up, the only thing that I knew about finances was that you want to try to get the highest paying job that you can. And then when it came to investing, it was kind of like a crapshoot, you know, it's like put some money into something, just hope for the best. And if it multiplies, then you become wealthy. And if not, it sucks. Um, what I didn't realize though, is that's not at all how finances have to work. You see, when I first graduated college and I moved out to LA to pursue my dreams of entrepreneurship, acting and all those things, I had $400 and I had no job when I first moved out there. And so I struggled financially. Now, I came across some amazing finance books trying to really learn uh, this journey, understand how money actually worked, how to build wealth. And so I'm gonna talk about the 10 books that made the biggest impact in my life uh, that helped me go from that $400 and no job, struggling living paycheck to paycheck to having invested in over 20 rental properties and flips, owning multiple businesses and having a really healthy stock portfolio. So let's jump into it. Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Sean. I am a life and finance coach. If you are all about financial freedom and creating life on your terms, entrepreneurship, then this is the channel for you. So be sure to check out some of my videos in the description box below below. And if you haven't done so already and do me a solid, go ahead and just smash that like button, hit the subscribe button channel for me as well. Uh, anytime that you comment, you like something, you subscribe, it pushes that YouTube algorithm. It helps my video get out to more people. But let's talk about the 10 financial books that completely changed my life. Now, these books are going to range from mindset to strategy. Because what we have to understand is that when it comes to achieving anything in life, financially, in your fitness, in your relationships, any one of those things, you have to understand that not only do you have to know what to do, but you have to understand the psychology and the mindset behind it. And that was one thing that I learned during this journey was that having all these pieces makes you so much more likely and so much more successful uh, in getting the things that you want. So I'm going to talk about these 10 books. Unfortunately, I can't go into a ton of detail about each book because this video would be like hours long, but I will talk about the 10 books, uh, just kind of briefly describe why I think they're so important and why they made such a difference in my life. And then we will go from there. Okay, so the first book on the list is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Now this is an absolute staple in the financial industry. And if you've been around finances for more than probably just a little bit, uh, then you've probably already heard about this book or came across it, or maybe you've already read it. But for those of you who have not heard about it or have read it, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, in my opinion, is a lot more of a mindset book. And the idea of this is learning and understanding why wealthy people continue to build wealth while other people in the lower and middle class sectors uh, struggle. They just, you know, they're working that grind at nine to five, really can't get ahead. And the whole story is premised on Robert Kiyosaki explaining how he grew up with essentially two different fathers. He had his real biological father who was a highly educated guy and always had a pretty good paying job. But the problem was no matter how successful that he became, he just was constantly working more hours and never could get ahead financially. He always struggled with finances. But then he had his best friend's dad who only had a high school education. But his best friend's dad really understood finances. He really understood business and he had a very well healthy mindset. And because of that, even though he didn't have a high education, he was quickly able to become one of the wealthiest people in Hawaii. Now, this book goes into a lot of detail about understanding the mindset differences, some of the tax advantages and things like that. So this is a very fantastic book to start with to really understand the mindset, the thinking patterns that you will need to have to begin creating financial freedom and wealth for yourself. The second book on our list is The Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. And this is essentially the sequel to Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And the reason I have this one on the list as well is because this actually goes into a lot more detail of of the mindset and it also starts to talk a little bit more about the strategy behind how to begin building wealth. And in fact, I actually like this book even more than the original. However, if you have not read the original, I would still suggest that you read the original first because it gives you a lot of the backstory to things. But this book has a lot more charts and graphs and really dives into a much deeper mindset and strategy driven purpose on how to begin building wealth and how to create that financial freedom for yourself and get out of the rat race. 
The third book on our list is A Million Bucks by 30 by Alan Corey. Now this is a book that I came across really early on in my financial journey and I am so glad that I did. This book is all about the power of frugality in my opinion. So the premise of this story is this guy named Alan Corey uh, used to live in his parents' basement. He's around, around 24 years old living in his parents' basement in Atlanta and he gets a job in New York City making about $40,000 a year. Now for those of you who, who know about New York City, $40,000 a year is absolutely nothing. That is like impoverished wages out in New York. And so basically his goal was from the age of 24 to 30, without quitting his day job, he wanted to have a million dollar net worth. He essentially does so and he tracks every year what he did, what his bank accounts looked like. And without actually quitting his day job, working side hustles, living super cheap, uh, and he talks about all these strategies, he was essentially able to acquire a million dollar net worth. I really loved this book because it really showed you that you do not have to make a ton of money, and if you are very, very frugal, live way below your means, um, it's a very easy way that even if you don't make a lot of money, you can still make a lot of financial progress. And this was the book that really helped me because my journey paralleled this very similar um, you see, when I first moved to LA, I was not making very much. My first year in LA, I made $19,000. I managed to save nine of it. And I think the second year I made somewhere in like the high 30s, low 40s. Um, but within two and a half years, you know, I had saved over $40,000 and I was able to start making my first investment property investments. Now the next one on our list is I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi. Uh, this is a really phenomenal book that spans pretty much a little bit of the mind Mindset, but also the strategy behind how to budget, how to properly spend, how to go about credit cards. It's a really phenomenal personal finance book that really brings kind of a new twist and flavor to a lot of the traditional personal finance books when it comes to budgeting. What I really loved most about this book was one thing that he talked about, which is called conscious spending. And so instead of just saying, hey, just live super cheap below your means the entire, uh, your entire time with every category, Remit talks about having what's called conscious spending, which is live well below your your means in most of the areas, but find the one or two areas that really brings the greatest level of satisfaction to you and spend a little bit more in that area because that's what's going to really help you feel most alive. He talks about living a rich life. So this is a phenomenal book. If you're really new to personal finance, want to learn more about budgeting, how to go about credit cards, how to get the best offers, how to really budget your money and organize your money, uh, this is a fantastic book to start in all of those categories. And I also loved it because it really does teach some new principles and twists to it. Now the fifth book on our list is The ABCs of Real Estate Investing by Ken McElroy. So as you can tell, this is not just a personal finance book, this is a real estate book. So for some of you who are interested in real estate and you do not know much about it, I would highly suggest looking into this book because this will really teach you the basic fundamental strategies behind how to go about finding rental properties, what you should be looking for, and why real estate is one of the greatest wealth builders of all time. And so if you are new to real estate but have an interest in it, I would highly suggest reading this book because this is the book that really taught me some things about how to go about finding rental properties, what to look for, how to begin assessing if a property is a good deal or not. Now he does have an advanced guide to real estate investing as well, which is not on my list. So once you finish that book as a little tip, be sure to read that next one as well. The sixth book on the list is The Little Book on Common Sense Investing by Jack Bogle. Uh, this is a book for all you stock investors out there and it's probably one of the only books that you really need to read regarding stock. Now, if you've been following my channel or watch a lot of my videos, I have videos talking about stocks, how to begin investing in stocks with things like index funds, but Jack Bogle is the creator of the Vanguard Index Fund. And the book kind of talks about how he came about uh, creating those index funds. You see, he saw that all these money managers were taking all kinds of fees from people that were investing with them. And so when he created Vanguard, the idea was that he'd have an almost zero expense ratio when it comes to uh, stock investing, things like that. And the whole premise of the book is really stressing how powerful index fund investing can be and why for pretty much most people, it's about the only thing that you really need to be investing in to create great wealth in the future. So if you are really into stocks, want to learn more about stock investing, how to go about it, I would highly suggest that you start 
with this book because it will really teach you the fundamental principles of why index funds are so powerful and why that's what the average person should be doing. Number seven, Money Masters the Game by Tony Robbins. So this is a all around personal finance book that ranges from mindset all the way to strategy. Now those of you familiar with Tony Robbins, you know that he is a mindset guy. He is all about how to get yourself into peak states, how to have the mindset needed to live the life that you want. So this is a really hefty book. In the beginning, Tony talks mostly about the mindset of wealth, the mindset of money, and the actual game of finances and why the game is stacked against you, but how to begin playing that game so that you can be in creating wealth for yourself. And then as the book goes along, Tony goes around and interviews all the brightest minds in the financial industries. The guys like Warren Buffett, guys like the Ray Dalios, all these people, and he asks him lots of questions about how the average investor should go about creating their portfolio, how to begin creating wealth. And so what I loved about this book was you really got to tap into the minds of some of the brightest financial people of all time. And it's done in a way that it actually can help the average person. Because it's one thing to be a multi-billionaire giving advice to other people who are super rich and super wealthy, but it's another to have the advice of billionaires talking to people who are like you and I and how to go about the stock market, how to go about finances, how to go about investing. So if you wanna learn everything in terms of mindset, some really awesome strategies from some of the brightest minds in the financial industry, I would highly suggest reading this book. Number eight, The Automatic Millionaire Homeowner's Edition by David Bach. Uh, now he has another book called Just The Automatic Millionaire. The reason I have the Homeowner's Edition in here, uh, because either one is fantastic, uh, this one is all about how to become a multimillionaire simply by having home ownership. Um, he has a lot of different tactics and strategies he talks about, like automating your expenses, your savings, all these different things that I love about the book. But he has a really, really awesome strategy on how to go about buying your first single family home, but how just a little adjustment of not just selling your home, but instead keeping it, refinancing it, and using that refinance as a down payment on your next home and continuing to do the same strategy, how you can very quickly, by just owning one house, over the course of your life, become a multimillionaire with lots of passive income. This book really helped open my eyes on some different techniques and strategies for how real estate could make you very wealthy over the course of your life and also create financial freedom. So I highly suggest reading this book. Number nine, The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. Uh, this is a book that I absolutely love. This is definitely more of a mindset book than anything. Uh, it really teaches the fundamental principles of how wealthy people go about looking at money, uh, how they approach it and what it really takes to become very successful with finances. I learned so much information from this book and I just it really was an inspiration for me on how to really look at money and how to approach life in general uh, on a successful track. And so I really do advise that you know if you are looking for a book that really teaches you the mindset strategies, a book that really teaches you how to begin going from, you know, that typical like middle class, lower class, and really begin making the shift of having financial freedom and wealth for yourself. This is a very phenomenal book and understanding how wealthy people approach money and approach life in general. Now the 10th book on our list is The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley. Now what I loved most about this book was that it really breaks down the preconceived notion that millionaires are these people who live in these you know, gated mega mansions, driving Lambos, having their private jet, their $20,000 watch, their $10,000 suit. Uh, this book kind of goes into a huge study where they went in and surveyed and studied tons of millionaires and understood how they lived, how they spent their money. And what they found was that the typical millionaire does not have a lavish lifestyle. In fact, most millionaires live in very average neighborhoods. They drive basic cars like Toyotas. And so the, the reason I love this book so much was that it really helped waken my eyes and really helped me see why these people are so wealthy and how true millionaires typically live. So I really do think this is a phenomenal book to help people understand 
what it really is like being a millionaire and why they got to that stage. Now those are the top 10 books. I have read probably at least 75 to 100 finance books uh, minimum. Uh, now there was another book that I started to put on this list uh, really fast. It's called The Top 10 Distinctions Between the Millionaires and the Middle Class by Keith Cameron Smith. Uh, this is another book that is just absolutely phenomenal, really helping you understand what the key difference is, mindset-wise, things they approach, uh, how they approach money, what they focus on, what they value more. Um, also a phenomenal book. But if, if you have not read any of these books that I've mentioned yet, or you're just starting out in your financial journey, I would highly suggest that you start with one of these books. They are all absolutely phenomenal, and I would suggest that you eventually read all of these books. But pick one of those, it's a great place to start. If you really enjoyed this video and it really gave you a lot of value, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for me as well. Also, be sure to check out some of my other videos where I talk about money, investing, saving, entrepreneurship. So make sure you check out some of my other videos. I greatly appreciate it. Let's get out there and let's build that dream.